Well, there is no doubt that the state of the economy will be on everyone's mind this election season. Primaries are being held today in Wisconsin, Maryland, and right here in D.C. Mitt Romney has officially hit the halfway mark in the delegate count, and the Republican establishment has been circling its wagons around the GOP frontrunner. But the other candidates aren't throwing in the towel yet. Throughout this presidential contest, Young voters have rallied around Ron Paul and continue to support him. We have interviewed many of them here on RT, and although the chances of this 76-year-old winning are unlikely at this point for Ron Paul and his supporters, it isn't about winning the election, but changing the political discourse. So what's next for his campaign? Lou Rockwell is the chairman of the Ludwig von Mises Institute and the author of the book, The Left, the Right, and the State, and joins me now for more. Welcome to the show, Luke. So Ron Paul, Ron Paul backers are still as energized as ever about their candidate. But at this point in the race, it doesn't look like he's going to pull off the nomination. But Ron Paul has said it isn't about winning. It is, it's pretty unlikely, although I would say not impossible. Uh, there's some people who feel that uh, Ron has more, far more delegates than the official media are, are giving him credit for. And of course, if there were to be a brokered convention, and I agree that it's unlikely but not impossible, though, um, who knows what could happen in, in uh, Warren G. Harding, my favorite president of the 20th century, ended up, even though he went into the Republican convention way behind in delegates, uh, everybody liked him. And uh, because everybody liked him so much, and he was such a dignified and uh, a pro-liberty candidate, by the way, sort of the Ron Paul of his time, he ended up being the nominee and uh, winning by a huge margin, one of the biggest margins ever in American history. So th these things are not important. But again, I, I would argue that Ron Paul has, has in, a, in the more fundamental sense, already won the election. I mean, he's already won the future, really, more, than, more important than the election because of all these young people. Millions of young people energized, educated by him, dedicated to his ideals. Uh, so since political change comes after change in the climate of opinion, Ron Paul is, has changed and will be continuing to change the climate of opinion. So I think no matter who, you know, whether it's uh, uh, bad guy A or bad guy B, who is the uh, eventual uh, victor in November, I think Ron Paul and the Ron Paul's, Ron Paul's ideas presage a tremendous future for America and for Ron if they are adopted as I believe they are being adopted. And you mentioned, you know, young people, and one of our reporters went down to a Ron Paul event over in Maryland just a few days ago, and he's been described as somewhat of a rock star, so a lot of energy surrounding Ron Paul. Um, so do you think that this is kind of a preview of what's to come in terms of the political shift that the young people, and these are our future generations, are, are going to be, um, what their political ideology is going to be like? This is the future. And it's not only in the United States. Ron Paul has followers all over the world, uh, in Brazil, in Turkey, uh, in Western Europe, in Japan, in uh, China. I mean, all of, I'm sure in Russia, too. All over the world, young people are looking to Ron Paul. They see him as something so different from the regular politician and is offering solutions to the horrible problems that we face, that we don't need to go down an economic hole, that we don't have to have a police state, we don't have to have a bloody empire murdering hundreds of thousands, millions of people. We don't have to have that kind of country. So we can have a better America. And uh, I think people overseas want a Ron Paul America, certainly young people here. And it's not only teenagers and college students. Kids 10 and 12 years old are Ron Paul supporters. So Ron Paul is the future, even if it's Romney or Obama, who's inaugurated uh, coming in January. Now, um, a lot of what's behind this whole phenomenon with Ron Paul is that he's, he's been called consistent, um, his message, anti-war message, small government message. Um, to what extent do you think Ron Paul has been successful in changing the political conversation, especially within the Republican Party? Well, certainly among, you know, the young people are a different story from the Republican Party. The Re I must say I don't have much respect or liking for the Republican Party. The Republican Party is a pretty bad bunch. We only have to look at what they did when George W. Bush, who was sort of the Romney of his time, uh, you know, vast deficits, vast wars, uh, expansion of the police state. I mean, Obama is just uh, George W. Bush uh, with a different haircut. So it's, it's uh, um, I think the Republican Party, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I think it has to be my own view is it, this is an educational struggle, and hearts and minds are changed outside of political parties, which are just 
partisan. I mean, it's just about my gang instead of your gang being in power. It's not a very inspiring thing, and I think kids uh, uh, see it, see through it. They see it as corrupt. They see that uh, this is not the path to follow. So I think, uh, uh, again, I don't know about the Republican Party. I'm sure there are some decent part people in the Republican Party, especially the temporary ones who went into it to support Ron Paul. But the party itself, it's, it's, you know, it's corrupt, it's authoritarian. Uh, it represents the worst of America. Uh, the Democrats, too, do also do, by, by the way. So uh, they're all bad. All, both parties are bad. The two uh, wings of the same predatory bird, as Butler Schaefer puts it. So uh, I think it has to be outside politics, outside of, uh, uh, outside of both of those parties. And I think you know, the Ron Paul people are that. They, these kids are not part of the political system. But they are going to change this country, and change will have to come from the bottom up. It never comes from the top down, except change towards evil comes from the top down. So change for good will come from these kids. And it makes me very enthusiastic, very optimistic about the future, despite the economic troubles we have, uh, the vicious American police state. As you know, the so-called Supreme Court just uh, the other day said that uh, people can be strip searched if they're picked up for, uh, for uh, not walking their dog on a leash. I mean, even... <laughs> I don't think, uh, you know, I, it's just incredible what's going on. So the government is getting worse and worse and worse every day, and it started out pretty bad. Um, but the American people are getting better, and this is a struggle, and I think the struggle can be won, and it's going to be won in the hearts and minds of young people. Those are the people Ron Paul touches, not only because he has the right ideas, and he certainly has the right ideas about peace, about uh, sound money, about prosperity, about civil liberties and individual liberty, but because he's so transparently an honest man. I mean, you, you compare him to everybody else in politics. Ron Paul, you may not agree with him, but you know he's honest and he's saying what he really thinks. So he really is unique. I don't think, by the way, the success of Ron Paul means that we should, uh, that politics is the way to go about things, because he is unique. I don't think there's anybody else like him. Um, and uh, he's going to continue to be a leader. After he's out of Congress, he's going to continue to lead these young people, many, many, many more of us older, older types, too, uh, towards a very different kind of country. So uh, it's, it's exciting. And what's going to happen in November, all these primaries and so forth, are far less important in the scheme of things in the long term than what Ron Paul is doing with these young people. All right, Lou. Pr pleasure to have you on the show. That was Lou Thank Rockwell, you. chairman of the Ludwig von Mises Institute and author of The Left the right and the state.